Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today um, I'm going to be making another mask for my one of my grandsons who's so much into um, all these hero characters and he loves all these masks. I've made him so many but every time there's a new hero, a new character, he asks for one. So now um, he wants a uh, Crash Bandicoot. So I'm trying to... Um, get a picture done I've looked up online and picked up a few different pictures so then I start to draw it and what I do I tend to fold it in half and then I'll do the drawing so I've got the shape I want and then for the eyes um, he's got like I've got these from previous masks that I've made I've sort of keep these for a guideline if you like so I've already done one I just wanted to show you from right from the start. So this is basically my drawing of the character that I want. So first of all I draw it all on a piece of paper. So this is this is the beginning. So you start drawing, work out the eyes. Like I said, I always um, do it half. So You've got the eyes, so that you know roughly where they would come. Then, according to my character, like I said, I've cut one out just to show you step by step. It looks like he's got like green all the way around his eyes. So the green goes round his eyes, and then he's got like um, a thick eyebrows, eyebrows. So then I'll draw the eyebrows um, and it sort of like goes over his eyes. So he, he has like thick eyebrows and then he's got some sort of like pattern on top. So again I would just then um, do this pattern give you an idea what how I do it so like I said I always um, try and do half because I'm going to then half this and put it on my material so once you draw your character or what you want now I, I made bones uh, for his ears and top of his head because some of the pictures that I found that's how it was but he's asked for feathers so then I've looked up and he's got like feathers so I've been playing around with the cutting some feathers so then I'll have these feathers on top instead of the um, instead of the bone yeah. but it's not beige it's brown but I didn't want to start the brown one until I um, found out that he was happy with the character so once um, he was happy this is with the, with, I've shown it to him and he's quite happy for me to go ahead and make this mask for him there <laughs> so then once you've done your drawing you would then fold this up in half same as your and you would fold it in half fold your material as well in half get some pins and pin it down and then put your um, once obviously you've cut it out then you would draw that onto your felt cut it out now with the eyes they'll fold it in half and cut round the eyes to cut the eyes um, so, so so say that's folded and you've drawn where the eye is so you've drawn the eye you would have that pinned down so you don't you go through the same thing fold it in half get a scissors make a little cut where you've made the cut you'd have a small pair of scissors like so and you would then cut along that line 
so you would cut your eyes like so <clears throat> and then when you open it up you'd have your uh, equal size so that's how you would do the eyes and then once you've cut out your shape and you're done with then you would then cut along those patterns so you've cut the eyes we've cut the eyes again you would fold it in half like so um, always have a uh, scissors for your paper separately to the scissors that you use on your material and if you were to fold that on in half like so just cut a slit and then once you cut a slit along that line you would put your <coughs> knife through uh, sorry your scissors through and cut along there so then it's all the same and that's how you would um, mark it on your material once you've cut the eyes out. Once you've cut the eyes and you've drawn out your head shape then you would go ahead on the paper cutting out your patterns. So here we've cut the eyes out so your eyes is cut. Then you've got your eyebrows so if you cut your eyebrows as well then you'd be able to put that on your um, materials and cut out the shapes that you want again like with his head so then you've got another piece and you would fold it in half again and just trace it and cut it along so then once you've cut it as you can see I've traced it along with this and then you just cut it and put it along on the outside I would then cut along there and make your eyes and then I've just played around with um, uh, some thin felt using a crinkle cut to make it give it that um, feather effect so I'm just going to now go ahead and trace this onto the actual felt that I'm going to be using which is going to be brown cut out all my pieces and then I'll come back to show here we are I've gone ahead and just cut my um, pattern out onto the felt I've placed all my uh, what I'm going to be stitching how I'm going to be stitching it I'm not quite sure if I should have black um, stitches going across to make it more like a woody effect I'll um, I might just um, try it out first of all I'll try it out and see how it would look before I do that so now I'm just going to go ahead and stitch everything on to the actual mask um, is where um, once we cut the shapes I then had uh, another piece of felt and put it round where the eye is going to be to draw and cut out the circle bits so now we go ahead and stitch, us, stitch it all together and then I'll go. I've gone ahead and just zigzagged all the way around my mask including the eyes and I did try um, doing lines I think that does bring it uh, give it more effect so I've done some lines across as well to make it woody effect and now I'm just going to go ahead and just put a piece at a time and stitch them round there you go, I've stitched um, the eyes and this pattern and we've still got the uh, bony ears and now we're going to go ahead and arrange and stick uh, sew our colourful feathers it's looking good isn't it um, as I'm doing the feathers um, I'll clean that in a minute well, as I'm putting the feathers I'm going right in the middle as well and then doing some lines to give it that um, like a leaf uh, like a uh, what's the word <sighs> feather effect <laughs> so that that that's come out quite well like that so that's what I'm doing at the moment our mask now the final thing is to put the elastic band with the elastic band make sure that it's quite comfortable around a child make it a bit larger if it's um, too short they can't do anything about it but if it's long they can always uh, put a knot 
at the back like so and adjust it to the child's um, head and then all I'll do now is just stitch it I've just stitched it right in the middle where the um, ears are so it looks like it's the ear, ear lock so I'm going to do the same on the other side making sure that you've got it you've got your elastic band going straight across so and then you just follow it all the way around and then have it right there on the opposite side so that's how you'll be stitching your um, elastic bands to finish it off so I'm just going to do that side as well and then we're done there we are our finished mask go ahead make a child happy it's lovely to see their um, imagination and I love it when my grandson asked me to make him um, his masks um, and it's nice to know that he um, he actually wears them and he actually enjoys uh, playing with them uh, so this is for you Ezel I hope you like it Nene love you lots until next time bye for now